And hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Ask Us Anything. It is Easter Sunday, 2020, and uh, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland coming to you live from uh, Okaloosa Island, Florida. And uh, it is a delight to uh, to have you all with us tonight as we uh, do our Easter Sunday edition. We were actually thinking of taking this week off because normally you spend this time with family, right? But uh, we're all home. Everybody's home. So we are going to spend time with family, though. As soon as we get done here, we're going to have a call with all of our kids. We're doing, uh, like many of you, a Zoom call where all of our kids from all over the country will all uh, get together on Easter uh, via the Internet. So that's going to be our plans here today, and we're uh, kind of looking forward to that. All right, let's say the first one on tonight, uh, Davis, Tandy, and Buster. And uh, so all the karaoke, keep your day job. <laughs> hey, I was just trying. Also, is Jennifer trimming your hair for you? I'm very shaggy. Uh, no, she's not. She doesn't do that. Uh, I did get into a barber down here in Florida about two and a half weeks ago. So a lot of people with long hair. I said, you better get in or you're going to lose your opportunity for a month or two. Now, for those of you wondering what he's talking about when he says the uh, karaoke, you have, it was in the video that was released, uh, yesterday morning, uh, on our, um, uh, locked uh, life under lockdown, RV lifestyle under lockdown, and uh, we showed you how we're spending our time and what we're doing. And uh, anyway, that was a little embarrassing, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Hey, happy Easter to E squared and uh, Linda Ward, Linda McRae in Gainesville, Georgia. Edward has a comment, uh, wishing everybody a happy Easter. The cemeteries in Bergen County, New Jersey are closed for access. Well, they don't want crowds, I guess. Uh, Pam Morrison um, out in California, checking in from San Francisco. Uh, KK Kayak uh, in cold, snowy Monticello, Wisconsin. Did you see that they're supposed to get up to two feet of snow in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan? Sounds like fun to me. And our bow would like that, wouldn't he? Ron says, uh, hi from upstate New York. Uh, wishing a happy Easter. And as uh, our uh, moderator, Phyllis Kerr, reminds everybody, if you want us to answer your questions, start it with question in caps so that we can see it. There's a lot of names in the feeds uh, off to the right. And um, it's hard for me to be able to, uh, you know, while we're answering questions and talking, and I'm glancing at that, trying to figure out what to answer, it will, you will help me. If I don't answer your question, um, you know, we'll do our best. I can't get them all, and we're going to end this a little before 8 so we can join our family Easter uh, online gathering. Um, and I don't know how many of you guys have tried that, but uh, that's a one way. Zoom, FaceTime does it, many other uh, tools out there, Skype. Uh, Zoom is the app that I think most people like to use. It just really does a great job. They had some hacking security issues, but like everything in this uh, COVID-19, the media is blowing that way out of proportion to what the real problem is. But at any rate, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So um, we're, uh, we're glad to have you with us. We've got some bad weather coming. Maybe. I think it's going to go north of us, isn't it? Uh, well, it looks to me in the radar, it looks like it's going to go to the northeast. You have to move a little closer to me because you're going off screen and I can't move the computer anymore. <laughs> so, I was just looking out the window. I know. I'm going to check it. Yeah, you know, she really, she hates it when I touch her like that. Well, no, I, it tickles. It tickles her arm. I'm yeah. wearing a shirt even tonight. Last, yeah, it keeps last moving week, on, it itches. Last week, I, it I was the like hairs that. on my arm that were tickling. Yeah, right it, now. I mean, I we are. Like, like, there's a battle going on that you can't see <laughs> off screen, uh, but uh, but I want they want to see you and oh. I can't move the computer anymore that way wow. because um, of other equipment that's in the way. So <laughs> you're such a hoot. <laughs> no, I'm I'm about ready to. to you're going to be a solo here. Uh, probably. Uh, you can tell that being inside <laughs> is getting us all just a bit testy these days. But not me. I'm in pretty good spirits. Uh, Marty is in uh, Webster, Florida. Hopefully everybody had a happy Easter. And um, uh, Orlana wishes everybody a happy, uh, uh, let's see, the Hoppy Camper. Question, do you think Leisure Travel Van will move up the model year changeover and begin in 2021 line after opening? Happy Easter from Steve and Valerie. 
from Bryson City, North Carolina. You know, no, the 2021 line is these model years for RV makers. They're largely, they're largely made up. You know, I wish that the industry would just use the chassis that they build on year. Uh, they're going to be building on 2020 Ford Transit chassis, and right now, uh, 2019 um, Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Uh, that's pretty true of any of the RV makers who make those uh, Class B plus or B, B or Cs. Um, the 2020 Mercedes chassis are not out yet for RV makers. Uh, the Ford Transit 2020 chassis are just now being shipped. So they may call it a 20, they'll call this whatever they, they start making, they'll call them a 2020. But in the fall, some makers, even though they don't have any changes at all, will suddenly start calling them a 2021, like cars do, you know? So I always say, just go with the chassis. What year chassis do you have? Because that's really what year your, your RV is. Um, but anyway, they will resume production. Leisure, I think, is off for one more week. Uh, they may extend that closing. I have not in any word that they will. And uh, I noticed uh, that uh, Winnebago is about ready to start building again. I expect Thor to do the same thing, Forest River. I think they're all going to get back online very quickly here. So, so they can get parts? They so don't they have a problem? Parts. I mean, they have what they need so they can get going? Yep. Uh, that's the biggest problem is getting track. All right. I'm I'm really bugged by this fact that you can't, well, I, I can't get you completely in the picture. Well, there. I am not going to sit on your lap. Sorry about that. <laughs> I cannot get any closer. You can't blame a guy for trying, right, folks? Uh, so I think you can see much of your head. You had a little... Hey, nobody's talked about our background yet. What? What? Oh, uh, let, I know, anybody want to know what the background is? No, uh, who, who can guess what that is? Where is that? Uh, we should have a prize for the first person, but we'll just give you some applause. Who knows where the background is? Um, Spudnik, what options are still accessible for nomads such as BLM land? For ill-thinking nomads who are not very sensitive to what's happening in this country, um, who should be hunkered down. Uh, BLM land is largely accessible. Uh, there's still a lot of people, not a lot, but there's still people at Quartzsite in Arizona and uh, scattered locations of BLM land around. But this is not a good time to travel. If you're a nomad and you don't care and so many people are, you know, resent all of these closures, uh, well, go for it and uh, expect a lot of resentment from your fellow RVers who are following the rules and from... Uh, uh, from communities that you pass through. More and more small communities are really resentful of RVers coming in. And um, if they did get sick, uh, bringing the disease in and over, you know, overtaxing their limited community hospital needs, uh, many of them are, are, are fearful, probably unreasonably so, that you're going to be bringing the disease in. But that's a reality. And that's one of the reasons I don't recommend anybody do any long-term travel. Now, if you've got to go from like we may go up to Michigan. We may travel from here straight on through to Michigan to our house using the interstates and just get there as fast as we can. Uh, I don't know when we'll do that. But if you're just nomading around, and I know that's your home, uh, but this is not the time to be doing that. So hope hope that made sense. And, uh, um, you know, there's just a lot of resentment for RVers who are out nomading around. This is, it's not a cool thing to be a nomad during a, during a, a crisis like this. You guys are wonderful and inspiring. Your positive message is great. Have a happy health safety. Thank you, Marshall. That's really nice. Where does Bo ride when traveling in the RV? Well, he would like to ride shotgun. That's his first choice. And uh, But normally he sits right between the two of us. I can't get him to sit on the sofa right behind Mike because he could see out the windows and it would be great there. But I can't convince him of that. But so he... Uh, Gets as close as he can, usually to me. I wonder why we can't get him over there. Because he, of any bump in the road. Yeah. He gets scared. Yep. I, I think that's probably yeah. That's probably it. Uh, He's a very nervous fellow. Yeah. And yet he wants to go. He really does yeah. like, you know, he, he wants to be with us. So Yeah, I'm thinking about when you make that video with the golf cart. <laughs> when we're in Key West? Yeah. Yeah, we got... every bump in the road, he wanted to jump off the golf cart. You know, we were in, we'll have a video we'll on have it a video. eventually. Uh, when we were in Key West, just before Saturday? they, I, I was going to do the. Um, oh, it doesn't matter. We've got Whatever like four or five it. videos that are ready to go. And I've re resisted sending them out because I don't want to give people the impression to go traveling because you don't want to go traveling yet. 
but uh, one of them will be on Key West, and uh, Key West is a very unfriendly place for RVers, at least downtown. There just isn't room to park. So but saying unfriendly, they like you, but you can't take your RV downtown. So at the at the campground we're at, they recommend we get a golf cart, and so we rented a golf cart, and uh, that was just a mess. The three of us, Bo and Jen and me, on a golf cart. All three of us in the front seat. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll be trying. And then we tried every combination I don't know to if try I to make Bo happy. I don't know if I have any video much of that. I don't think, that. you know, because we, we were too busy driving. Yeah, that's, that's good. We gave great photo ops to other people. Happy Easter, uh, says Susan, from rainy, windy central Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those storms are heading up that way. Mm -hmm. Ed Richards, greetings from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Definitely not an e-bike mobile this evening. Yeah, I think you're getting the rain, too. The weather has been really bad. Uh, the lower states, uh, the just off the Gulf Coast, coast. We are right on the Gulf Coast here in Oklahoma Island, and the weather is going kind of around us uh, to the north. But um, there it's was already been a, kind of foggy. There was already. A, it looks like it's going to rain, but it hasn't. There was already a tornado uh, in um, Monroe, Louisiana today. So there's uh, lots of people under warnings. We're supposed to start getting pretty bad thunderstorms about nine o'clock tonight uh, down here in, uh, on the Gulf Coast. Uh, Karen says, happy Easter from Iowa. Uh, here's uh, Schmellenball says, uh, happy Easter from snowy Colorado. And uh, here's somebody sitting home alone. YouTube right now my evening. Karen in Michigan. Happy Easter, Karen. Welcome. I'm glad that we we were not going to do this tonight because it's a holiday. And we said, you know what? We all just need to just touch in with each other. We just, we're doing these Friday night uh, digital campfires. And then when we come back, we, I don't want to be overkill here for you guys, right? We don't want to get, have you, we're sick of you guys talking like this. But uh, so I don't know how long we'll keep doing the Friday night ones. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, for a while, we'll, we'll try this week again. But um, for sure, every Sunday night, we'll, we'll be doing this. And, and it's fun to connect with everybody. Uh, David is southwestern, southeastern Pennsylvania, and they got their 2020 wonder this past week. The rear twin beds. Well, maybe it's a 2020 model, but that's not the 2020 chassis because the chassis haven't been delivered yet. So uh, you might might have it, uh, but I don't believe you have the Ford 2020 chassis. I believe maybe. you're on the. No, I don't think so. Uh, unless they're telling me something that's not true, and they always have been right on with everything they tell us. Happy Easter from Woodbridge, Illinois, from Bob. Uh, Quilter1643 is in Georgia. Doug wishes everybody happy Easter. Maureen, Passover. do you have any difficulties connecting with Apple Play? I can't connect, but maybe need a different cord. Um, no, I have no well, Apple Play. Oh, for the TV. I don't use Apple Play here. I have it at my home in Michigan, which I seldom use. Um, we have a quote, smart TV, and we've been using that. Uh, I can't believe it. We finished all six seasons of Downton Abbey, watching that on Amazon Prime. And so tonight... So if we start speaking with a little bit of a, an accent, so uh, you'll know where it came from. Yes, uh, um, Lady Jennifer. Uh, mm -hmm. may, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we watched, you know, nine episodes per season, six, six of them. We finished it last night. It really is a wonderful series. And tonight we're going to... Uh, I don't they, think we'll have time tonight. Yeah, they, We're going to watch the, the movie. movie. The movie came out in the fall, the Downton Abbey movie. So now we have to find another series. But we have really strong needs. We don't want... Well, Jennifer don't want... She doesn't want any violence. No, no sex, violence, graphic uh, language. And we want to find PG. a nice... Uh, something Just say PG. PG. <laughs> yeah, something that's a nice, that you can almost learn something from. I want something that'll make me happy. So, yeah, and uh, that's hard to do. I mean, I like, my favorite series is like I Jack Ryan. I love and Jack Ryan. But, yeah. So, but we're watching these together. So, stomachs burst open and monsters pop out. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are fun. Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So, we're looking for recommendations. Send us what we should watch next uh, since we can do a lot of binge watching here. Uh, but no problems, Maureen, connecting with Apple Play when I'm home. Just try unplugging everything and re reestablishing it. That's a good way to, to do it. Uh, okay, looking for, your, a... looking for your questions and for your comments. And here's one that uh, Jennifer's hair always looks so nice. What do you do when you're away so long, especially when salons are closed for coloring and cuts? 
well, right before the lockdown, I um, I went to a shop that I'd never gone to before. It was a mother daughter, and uh, I think I'm really pleased that she did a really good job with my hair. You just have to take a chance, and you just look around. If you get to know somebody and you like the way their hair looks, you ask them where they get their hair done. Or I just had felt for a couple of years that I should try this shop, and so I did, and I was just I was very pleased. Yeah. And uh, it's going to have to last a long time because I don't know. I think things will, I'll be surprised if things don't open up, you know, like May 1st. Uh, yeah. In here Florida. In, in I'm Florida. not sure about Michigan. Here in Florida. Yeah. Michigan. It might never open. That governor in Michigan, uh, she would like to keep things closed, I think, until uh, December uh, for political reasons more than anything else. But Michigan's been hit really hard. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I can't, you, you know, you got to do something. And I'm, yeah. I'm being facetious here. I think uh, Michigan's been hit really hard. Uh, down here in Florida, there's, there's certainly a number of cases, but it's much more open, even though the restaurants are closed, the salons, the, the most businesses, Walmart's open, closed. Big Sam's Club, our dog park, fortunately, is still open. You can take walks, but... Um, now I'm curious about our Walmart. If we went in there, I wonder if we could buy seeds and paint. And, up here? Yeah, we yeah, can. We, can we buy things there in, in Michigan, other than just yeah, food and... yes. Down here in Florida. Down here in Florida, we can sure. buy whatever we want when we go oh, to yeah. Sam's and Walmart. In Michigan, you know, a lot of people are home, so they want to like remodel their house, or they want to Get paint a, a new room. You can't go and buy a jar of paint. The governor says that's a not essential item. So you, if you're shopping and you go to, I don't know if Home Depot's are even Meyer. open. You know, Meyer Home Depot, if, but you can't buy paint. Well, a lot of people you can't buy anything. You can't buy garden seeds. I, our daughter said garden. someone she knew received a ticket buying paint now that seems peculiar because the checkout shouldn't have sold it to you well anyway i don't know it's just strange uh, we're hearing strange tales but down here in florida uh, that's one of the reasons we're staying we you know we, we we've been down here a little over a month now and it's been uh, it's been very tolerable i mean yeah, obviously the beaches nice. are closed but not bad it's all right quiet and back peaceful. to your comments and questions we bought our first ordered our first rv ever our itasca uh should have been delivered april 15th delayed our rving plans have been postponed Good for you. You're saying that postponed, not canceled, uh, and um, you will be able to get them. It's all coming together, and I can't wait to, um, uh, to hear of all of us uh, being able to get out there again. Um, question from Robin. Love that gorgeous background. Where was that photo taken? That's one of my favorite photos, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you before the end of the night, but uh, I should find a, a way to award somebody who can tell me where that was. But oh. uh, you don't uh, have any gifts. Yeah, I don't have things any gifts. with you, and then and you gotta I don't go to the post office. I don't want to go to the post office. So this is so peculiar not to go shopping. I mean, you just make do. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, use what you have and forget about what you don't have. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but anyway, I'll I'll tell you that. And we're gonna try and do a different background, and I'll try and figure out a contest that we can do next Sunday. Uh, how we can do something? I'll get get Chris uh, on our uh, on our team to figure that all out for you. Uh, hey, we do have an announcement we want to make. Let me let me do this before I get too far along. And this has to do with um, an event that we, if if we didn't have this lockdown and if this virus crisis hadn't happened, this national emergency that we're all in together, if that hadn't happened, we would be on our way now eventually to uh, Arizona, where from Thursday on they would have had their annual Super B RV show. It's one of our favorite shows. Uh, it's all small motorhomes, Class B, B pluses, and Cs. It's put on by La Mesa RV in uh, uh, in uh, Phoenix there, and that's where we would have been. And um, what did they do? They know they had to close it down. Well, they have scrambled around, and they are going to have an online version of the Super B show. I'm really excited to tell you all this. Now we won't be able to be there, but they are going to open it up Thursday. And they are going to uh, show a, feature a different small motor home every day uh, through the end of the month. They will have a virtual tour. Um, they'll shoot it with just the person who's doing the demo inside the unit. They'll keep social distancing. They'll have live questions and answers. And uh, they'll teach you and talk to you all about these new Super B small RVs, a different model. They've got leisure travel vans. They've got a lot of pleasure ways. They've got Story Overlander. Um, they've got a bunch of different uh, small motorhome models. So that's all coming, and you'll be able to uh, to follow that. Um, that is really a good idea because with all the shows closed and people 
have a desire to see what's out there. Yeah, and uh, so that's all coming. And I have an address for you. So if you want to take this down, uh, I made a super, uh, an easy link. That's a real long URL they had, but it, I made one that'll go right to it. If you go to rvlifestyle.com slash super B, and you can sign up for that online event. There's no charge or anything, and you can watch it and uh, kind of take part in it. It's one of the more unique RV shows. Uh, we've been to it every year. They've had it out there, and we really, except I think the first we year. We missed the first couple. Yeah. And first one. First one. We Just were the there. first one? Yep. And we've been to four of them, I think. We were asked think. to go, and yep. it sounded like a long ways away. But anyway, if you want to participate in that, it starts Thursday, and that is the address. Uh, hopefully, you guys can all get that. Uh, rvlifestyle.com slash super B. Uh, we should probably tell everybody they should wear, you should have a piece of paper with you because we'll throw out these addresses and stuff. You can write them down, but that's how you can find out about the super B show. And uh, scrolling down our ticker back there tells you about uh, how to get new updates when we do videos and go live here uh, to make sure you subscribe and then click the bell icon. And then there are our three Instagram accounts. Uh, mine, of course, has been out there for a long time, RV Lifestyle Mike. Last week, we introduced Bo's Instagram account, uh, Bo the RV uh, Elk Hound. And then Friday night, uh, we introduced Jen's Instagram account, RV Lifestyle Jen. So we invite you guys to go subscribe. We're using Instagram a lot, uh, multiple times during the day to sort of share RV stuff and fun photos and interact with you all. So. Uh, so check that all out as you check out uh, all the rest of that stuff. And you can get that, that scrolling memo down there. We'll keep repeating that stuff. So there. Uh, Shana, happy Easter. Happy Easter from Sharon in Newton, New Jersey. Uh, hi from Oklahoma. Swartz Creek, Michigan. Uh, Ken Michelson, uh, Mickelson, our, my buddy from the dog park. Bo's, uh, the guy who owns Bo's girlfriend, Princess. Uh, we see Ken every morning, Just pretty about. much, at the dog park here, uh, part of our dog park community. Uh, Terry is in South Texas. Uh, have you seen the movie RV with Robin Williams? We have, and um, been there, done that, <laughs> as we many of us have. We have. That's a very funny movie. Uh, is Mike still on the keto diet? No. 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 Uh, keto went away in the fall. I went to a different type of eating, and I'm kind of half on, half off that, and you know, this being in lockdown, this is not a good time. It, I don't know why. It's hard for to get started and to get mo motivated, but no, I'm not. Um, keto is not something I don't think you should be on for year after year after year. So uh, we're, we're kind of trying to take some of the principles from it, but uh, uh, it's a challenge uh, during this lockdown. Do I say that your cardiologist told you it wasn't a good idea unless you're at a special event like a wedding and you wanted to get 10 pounds off quick? Yeah, yeah, he did. And I get a, I go to a cardiologist. I've never had any heart issues ever, but we get a checkup. I try every year, every two years, you know, the full workup. And he's, he was not a big believer in it. Now, I should say my son, Scott, who is a physician, he's been on it for a couple of years. He looks great. Uh, and I should probably go back. I actually find it pretty easy to eat. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, hi from David in lockdown uh, in Lafayette, North Carolina. And uh, J.P. Merrick's in San Diego. I've been rainy cold this week. We'll change. Uh, RV Free is in Gold Canyon, Arizona. Uh, Jim's in sunny Winnipeg, Manitoba. And uh, Jennifer says about 1130, the weather's going to roll through wherever she is. So back to more questions. Any advice on how to get the sales staff to take my safety seriously when wanting to see an RV? Not sure enough of them get them. I'm really uncomfortable, but needing to find my RV soon. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, <laughs> going to, are the dealers open? She went to a dealer, and she doesn't want salespeople, I guess, in the RV with her when she's looking at it. She isn't comfortable that it's clean in there. How did you know that by looking at her question? Because she says... Sales staff okay. to take my safety seriously. I mean, well, no, she, she mean like seatbelts? Well, I think she means, well, maybe I'm wrong. When I read that, I think, um, you think going the in an RV, the, the virus. Distance? Yeah, she wants to look at them. Um, and she's, oh, and maybe, you know, she wants something that's um, not toxic, you know, like the chemicals, a lot of sprays and things that they put. You want a green, 
you know, environments, if you have allergies or asthma, things like that. I don't, like I don't that. know how to answer it other than well, if it's like, if it's you want social distance, tell them, you know, how so, about one person in the, just let me in the RV. I don't want to wear a mask well, or just gloves, tell them, you know. Don't waste your time going there. Or talk wait to until on, it ends. Talk, talk to them on the phone and tell them exactly what you want, whether you want something without a bunch of sprayed chemicals or flame retardant or whatever they put on that makes it kind of a nasty smell in there because a lot of people are sensitive to so, uh, different chemicals. So, Ramona, we're not sure the context of your question. But, but just call. If it's safety, uh, I'll tell you what a friend of ours does who owns a dealer. It's uh, Sunshine State RVs, Nick Schmidt, and they're um, sunshinestatervs.com. What Nick is doing is uh, he's urging people to find an RV that they're interested in looking at, call them up, or send him a note, and Nick will then go out into that RV, and he'll take all the time you want, and he'll do a, a live FaceTime call with you so you can see what it looks like. So, And because I have allergies so have to, to dust and mold, I want to go in and uh, make sure that I yeah. can live there. Yeah, but but if you want to, that's one way some of them do it. You can ask yeah. them to do a virtual tour. But you can start out with a virtual tour. Your thoughts on the Ford 4x4 Transit. Uh, when do you expect them to preview it? I've got a 2015 panel Transit Turbo 20. Love it. Never drove my SUV, but ready for my dream, pretty sure. Uh, Kate, it's not a true 4x4. It's all-wheel drive. Uh, and uh, that should be shipped. Well, it was supposed to have been shipped uh, to the man some of the manufacturers uh, about uh, two or three weeks ago. But then shutdowns, Ford shut down all of its operations. And I don't know how many manufacturers, if any, have the new all-wheel drive Ford 2020 chassis. Uh, chassis. Uh, they should be out. They should have some that are starting to be shipped. Um, and I've not heard of any. None of them made up yet at this point. But uh, uh, they should be there. They should be available this summer once everybody starts building. And that is um, that is a really neat neat thing to look at. The Ford 2020 Transit chassis is has as many different new features as the Mercedes 2019 Sprinter chassis had. And you know what a, what a ground change that, or, you know, major sea change that was in the Sprinter chassis. Well, the Ford 2020 uh, chassis for RVs is, is going to be also that all-wheel drive, gassed version, uh, redesigned cockpit, uh, new dashboard, uh, really neat stuff. So I'm anxious to see it. I really am. We're very impressed with the Transit, and I, I'm, I'm really excited about looking at this 2020 uh, chassis when, whenever we can get a chance to look at that. Uh, Susan likes our backdrop. Thank you, Susan. Don't you want to go out and see all that? And uh, Phyllis is giving a shout-out to Bill Sprague, who's our best cheerleader. He's telling everybody to give us a thumbs-up on this video. Please do. We love it. Now, if you all give us a thumbs-up right now, we'll see a whole bunch of them flash by. And uh, that's kind of fun to see. I always like to see how long it takes before we get a thumbs-up to flash by. I always go on to another thought, and then I see them, and I don't want to go back. But, no, nope, they're not flashing. Nope, nobody's giving us a thumbs up. Uh-oh, we must not be doing something right. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you, Bill, for, for doing There goes a couple. I saw that. Thank you, somebody, whoever did that. Uh, Terry Goss, we're currently at Walmart curbside pickup watching you guys on our phone. <laughs> oh, great, Terry. I <laughs> uh, wonder where you are. And uh, there goes a bunch of them. Uh, Terry, I wonder if you can get garden seed there. Because I think that's a good way to make some money in Michigan, just because uh, Michigan won't let you buy garden seed at their Walmart. Uh, all right, there's our first winner, KK Kayak Glacier National Park. Uh, that's it. Um, all things told, next to Yellowstone, maybe tied with Yellowstone, um, is Glacier National Park. And if we had to pick a park for scenes, scenic beauty, I think Glacier is it's just so dramatic. Look at those mountains. We had valleys, many fond memories of being at Glacier. We were with groups of other RVers, and we just have really had fun times and met a lot of nice people there. Michael Jensen says, Banff in Canada. It's close, uh, just a little south of there. Bill Gla Sprague guessed Glacier. Kate guessed the Sierra Mountains. Uh, Dana guessed Glacier. Look at that. Uh, I know where that is. Been there, said so Janet Matthews. Yes, you have. Uh, Anthony says uh, Jackson Hole. No, it kind of looks a little bit like like the Tetons. Not too much, though. Maybe the mountain over Jennifer's head looks a little Tetonish. <laughs> RV Time, Glacier. Uh, Gary says Banff. 
Yep. Uh, nope. Uh, it's not Banff, not the Grand Tetons, and it is indeed Glacier National Park. So uh, good guess, everybody. You've all been around. Uh, have you used the convection microwave in your FX? We find it very difficult to use. Uh, we have. I find it a little bit of a challenge myself to use. We don't use it that much. We have used it, but I still don't use it that what much. What did we use it for? What was it? Was it a pizza that we were making? Yeah, we made something, and it, you know, it's kind of, you know. Yeah, we were, it just, we it's, set it's off the smoke in, detector it's not, Oh, somehow. that's what it was. We set <laughs> off the smoke detector with it. And it's not, the convection oven is just not very intuitive, right? Right. I next, think it is. If, if you knew what you're doing, it would be. Next time we're someplace where I can get a lesson, I'm going to get a lesson. Yeah. Again, Mary Jane Curry Mary gave Jane me Curry a lesson once. Mary Jane Curry gave you a lesson once. I wonder if we have that, that on that. tape. We do. I think I do. We I do. had her. She that actually did a video. That uh, Glacier. And she did a video yeah. that we have here on the YouTube yeah. channel yeah. on using a convection oven. Yeah. So let's go look at that again. Next time we're there. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Lots of you guessed uh, Glacier. I'm not going to keep going on. Uh, it is sunny, then it goes to snow, and back to sun again, snow after it melts, uh, says Nancy. Wherever she, oh, she's in Medicine Hat, Alberta. And yes, that's Glacier. Coming in right down the street from you, Sylvia. She's in Navarre, Florida. Hi, Sylvia. Yeah, you are just that short way. Short distance a little away. Bit. Just a short distance away. Uh, and look, there's another Navarre. Jennifer Romito is in, is in uh, Navarre, Florida, which is right down the street from us here. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody says the Swiss Alps. No, nope. <laughs> kind of looks like the Alps. I'll get it. Do you think the resentment towards people, uh, travelers, is regional? That is in Florida or Arizona. How about Utah? Yeah, Utah. If you come into Utah now, if you drive into the state on any of the four major roads that take you in, now there's little side roads, you're stopped and you have to fill out a form. In fact, you're, they've got it work so as you're driving, you get a text on your phone saying, hey, if you're going to Utah, you got to fill out this form, either in person, if you get pulled over, or uh, by online. And you got to say your name and all that stuff, where you're going, where you've been, and you have to quarantine, your, quarantine yourself for 14 days. That's in Utah. Um, the resentment is in generally in smaller communities. Uh People just don't want a lot of people uh, to go up and hunker down in their communities. Okay. We have a friend who works at the Publix near Public where, store. Public, public supermarket. It's a supermarket. And he said two women were shopping like crazy, laughing, two younger women having fun. And they were from California, and they're just uh, having fun. And they're on a road trip. Yeah, they're on a road trip. And he was resentful. Because of... Well, they uh, bought $500, he said, worth of groceries. Did they? I didn't he hear. said it was a huge cart full. And, um, and they were kind of like, ha, 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 ha. And that's 500, you know, the, the stores here ha I mean, have enough. I mean, that's California. Not, that's not, a long ways. That's a lot of distance to be driving for just this little road trip. And so... You they know, were very lighthearted and having fun and very young. And um, they and bought a lot of food. There's been shortages of... Spot shortages of food, as you all know, not so bad down here, but that's a, that's just one little lesson. I get notes, and you see them. Our moderators on our Facebook page and Facebook group are always editing out really nasty words that people are saying. You know, stay home from people who are in these small communities. The hospitals can't handle any more than their local people if they get sick. The stores have just enough supplies for their local people. So, you know, it's it's a difficult time in our country. The national emergency, all 50 states are now in a declared national emergency. The, the advice of everyone is no unnecessary travel. And necessary travel is not because you want to go RVing someplace, you know, stay someplace. And um, the, the resentment is very strong. It's strong here in Florida. Uh, it's strong. Uh, I hear it all over the country. Uh, Particularly from people in smaller towns who, uh, so, so our happiness isn't necessary travel, right? That right. we need to get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That isn't necessary. It is to me, but it's not no, technically. It's okay. uh, so we have a 2019 LTV Unity. We are wondering what product we would use to keep our skylight sparkling and clear. God does it for you. It rains. I don't know. Ask them. Call. Call LTV and ask them what they would suggest that you clean it with. We've never cleaned ours. Well, that, you know, it's pretty clean. Yeah, you know, we're. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
It's clean. Some people like everything to sparkle. Do you put do bow in doggy daycare when you're in the Keys? Uh, if so, could you recommend? Yes, we did. And it was a the, very good place. Oh, gosh. Now, I, why I can't remember the name? You have Abigail, to wait for the video. Abigail and Fitch. And we yeah. stayed at Boyd's Campground in the Keys. And this will be in the video we eventually do. Um, and it I'll was, tell you what, we should have It was a, a wonderful place. We should have, uh, I don't know, I haven't seen if Chris is here, because Chris could hook us up with a survey on our uh, community group. He's not here, so I can't do, I'd like to do a survey. Here's the stories that we have, and we're going to let you tell us which one you want us to do for next Saturday. The Keys in Key West, the Space Coast, where you can boondock in Central Florida, and... Campground. Oh, and uh, the what's the name of that? And a really cool campground, uh, state park. I can't think of the name of it. It is. It's going to come to me. Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Uh, so those are the four. Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Florida near Jupiter. Great state park. Uh, the Keys, Florida Keys and Key West. I tell you right now, everybody wants the Keys. Space Ghost, or where to boondock in Central Florida. We have four of those videos, and one of them. Whichever one you guys all vote for. I wish there was a way to run a multiple tab. I think Chris is probably celebrating Easter and isn't with us tonight. Because uh, if so, uh, he could go to our community tab here on uh, on the YouTube. And you guys could vote for it. And then it would run, do a running tab. If you wait a little bit, I will try and do that later tonight after our family conference uh, in a little while. And I'll put it. So go to our community tab and you can vote on those. I know it'll let me pick three of them. So if it's only three, I'll have to I'll have to add the other one another time. But uh, you, whatever one you guys want is the one we'll do. So you think the keys for sure? But I anyway. do. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, is Bo the L RV Alcon large, small, or average for his breed? He is considered average, a medium-sized dog. He weighs sixty-five pounds, and I'm trying to get five pounds off him. Yeah, Elkhounds are supposed to weigh forty-five to fifty-five. But our vet said if Bo played football, he'd be a linesman. So 60 pounds is okay on him. Yeah. Uh, Mike, Jen, I'm planning to move to Florida. Where would you both suggest I live to be on the coast-gated community, watch sunsets, and build a hurricane-proof steel house on stilts, thinking Naples, Tampa? Yeah, I, both sound you, good. They're all good? Thanks. Tampa. Tampa's a little... I... I, I I'd go maybe a little south of there. Uh, you know, it depends on what you like. Um, it gets you very, very hot, 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 all the hot time. You know, in the summer, if you like seasonal, up here in the panhandle, it's great. It can get quite cool in December and January, February. But it does everything but snow. It gets yeah. cold. So, um, you know, Naples is a beautiful area. Uh, it's very it's hot. Ex and it's very expensive. But um, uh, And if you go north of Naples, maybe Bonita Springs, look around that area. That's a great area. Well, you got to uh, pick that one out yourself. Just got to go spend a few weeks, maybe a month or two, and Tampa, just look. Tampa John's not planning on leaving for a year? Wow. You going to Michigan? <laughs> no, why? All right. Well, I'm sorry you can't go for a year, but I'm going to be out this summer. I know we're going to be out there this summer. Would you ever try an all-electric RV like the Travado or Bolt? Well, those are not all-electric. They're, uh, they're, you know, they have a lot of, you know, they're, they don't have a generator. You don't. An all electric means the engine is electric, and they aren't. Um, the Bolt has interest me. The Toronto, after what we're in now, is a little small. It's a little small. The Bolt, it's kind of the same size, but the Bolt has a ton of lithium batteries. Um, I'm pretty much hooked on this class B plus or C, but uh, uh, certainly I'd consider. I like the Travato and I like the Bolt, and. Uh, um, I like them both. And I do, you know, the more you don't have to depend on fossil fuels, like if you can use the sun or lithium batteries, the, the, battery. the better it is. I'm a big believer in all of that stuff. And a lot of people don't want anything to do with propane. Do you ever leave your dog in the RV when you're out? And if so, how do you handle the climate in the RV? We have two golden retrievers and are looking to get a new Lisa travel van. Does auto climate work for this? Uh, yeah, it's it actually will set you up so that when your battery goes down, which you're using to run the air conditioner, uh, if you have enough battery power, frankly, you don't. Yeah, uh, you got to use yeah, a generator. Yeah, you don't. You got to use can't. a generator. So it's not going to do you any good unless you're plugged in. If you're plugged in and you leave the dogs, and should you 
lose power, uh, then the generator would stop. But to run Start. the air conditioner in leisure travel van, unless you do a lot of, uh, of extra work and have somebody rip off their electrical system and put in tons of lithium battery and, and solar, you're, you're going to have to be plugged in to run the air. Now, that said, we leave Bo in. Um, the device I rely on is uh, called... I can't remember. Uh, it's Nimble, N-I-M-B-L-E, Nimble. I think if you go to rvlifestyle.com slash nimble, you can learn about it. And what it is, is it's a little device that keeps track of the temperature and the humidity inside the RV. And so when the temperature goes above a preset limit that I have set, it sends me an immediate text uh, alert saying, hey, it's too hot. And that gives me then time to go back and something's wrong. I Somehow the air conditioner went out or we lost power and I can start the generator if it hasn't started already. But I at least know what the temperature is. Um, it's expensive. It costs, you have to buy a year's cellular subscription for it. Uh, I think you can get it month to month if you want. But, uh, you know, if, if, if you spend all this for the RV and you spend all this with, with dog care, that's just what you have to spend. That's the most reliable thing And we you have, have tried so many. I've tried cheaper ones and I'm not even going to, you know, We've done stories on them. There's a lot of stories on the blog. There's one here on the Nimble that, that we did, and that's the one that we use. And uh, I, that just really is, is nice to know. What was the name of the site where you find non-campground camping? Uh, thanks and be safe. Um, oh, I, I guess you're looking at, if you go to my blog, rvlifestyle.com, and search, uh, just search for um, boondocking, and you'll find a couple of big, or free campsites, and you'll find a huge story out there. Uh, no weather warnings, asked John DiPietro. Uh, no, we're supposed to get some wind, and we're supposed to get a thunderstorm. I can see the wind moving the palm trees out there, but it doesn't And the bad. waves are huge and beautiful. Oh, gorgeous waves. But the beaches are closed, but we can just look out the window, and there it is. So it's great, but not here. It's all going a little bit north. Maureen meant Apple CarPlay. Um, I rely extensively on Apple CarPlay. In fact, that's all I do when I drive, that's my whole nav system. I really love it. I use Waze and um, CarPlay is just great. No, it just plugs right in and it works perfect. So uh, yours should too. Just uh, plug it into your your, uh, your radio and it should be should be fine. So it's all there. Um, We're being told not to be like Mary. Judy says, don't be like Mary and Dalton Abbey. Yes, Mary was a bit of a bossy one, wasn't she? Yeah. Difficult woman. Yeah. Uh, we are a host of Boondockers. Welcome. They informed us that only people trying to get home should contact us. We're welcome to help full-time RVers get to a final place. That's great. Boondockers is a wonderful operation. Boondockers, welcome. And um, they uh, that that's that's awesome. And so if you're on your way home, like we're going to be going to Michigan sometime soon in the next few weeks, uh, we can always find a place to spend the night there if we have to. Uh, we're going to probably just go straight on home all the way there. Um, Cal, the midwife, is quite good as a series. Have you watched The Crown? It's another British yeah, series. Yeah, I think I'd like that. that. Thank you for reminding us of that. What's your favorite country campfire song? Mine is <laughs> uh, is Country Roads. Mine is pretty much, uh, I don't know. I don't have, I don't sing songs. If you looked at that video we put out yesterday, you don't know why, don't know why I don't sing songs. So, uh, greets or greetings from Jake. Thank you for cheering us up on a rainy Virginia evening. And um, happy Easter from Massachusetts. RV's packed and ready to go, and we get the all clear, ready to get out of Dodge. Lots of us are I'm getting cabin fever. Downton Abbey, love it. I love Christmas season five, PBS all day today. It was a blessing. I watched Doc Martin, great fun. We got to find another series like Downton Abbey. We really liked it. Um, another recommendation for Cal the Midwife. And uh, that's good. Jennifer should watch uh, BYU, t BYU TV over the internet. I don't know what that is. Midwives on Netflix. Boy, everybody's you recommending that. You better write that. stuff down so we remember. I got them. It's all written down okay. in our I comments. Guess that's true. And Ricardo the Magnificent says, your hair looks great, Jen. So, <laughs> Ricardo, you look marvelous yourself. Uh, all right. Let's go through some questions because we've got to wind this down because we're going to do our family Easter gathering here. Uh, on uh, online here in a little bit. So uh, forever you, if you just have tuned in and you're wondering what the background is, it's uh, Glacier National Park. There's a lot of 
distortion up over Jennifer's head, and that's because my halo. We don't have it's her halo <laughs> slipping, right? Uh, we're losing light through our windows. We don't have a real adequate life uh, you know, lighting yeah, situation here. Yeah, we might be here. gone in a couple minutes. We're we're going fast too, boy. Yeah. So uh, so we're it's kind of a kind of a, a fading light situation, and the green screen needs a little bit more light that we can we're capable of giving it. Uh, from this location in the uh, in the condo, uh, so there you go. Uh, all right, uh, I am out of here. I think I'm looking real quick. Lots of you in, and we we're delighted. Wherever you are, we hope you have had um, a great Easter, even though it's uh, it's tough. Uh, here we go. We've heard so many bad questions about Camping World and told not to buy from them. I know we should buy local, but when Camping World is the only game in town, what do you do? And tell Maddie I love her. Who's Maddie? Maddie? <laughs> I don't know who Maddie is. Uh, anyway, um, I'm not a big fan of Camping World. It's extremely, how do I say it? It's ex extremely sales-oriented. And uh, I don't like the way they, uh, yeah, I just a lot of stuff I don't like about Camping World. So it's not, not the place where I would buy an RV unless it was literally the only choice I had. And you can buy an RV from anywhere. And uh, I would urge you to, um, to do a lot of research. Uh, there is a, you know, when you hear so many bad things and you read a lot of bad stuff on the internet, you have to give some credence to that. So, so startled me. Uh, so you found a, something to bark at. Here's the guy who thinks the RV industry is going to collapse. Uh, Fox know. News predicted 60 billion Corona. Uh, RV business is going to. You know. Tampa Joe. We well, have, we have no crystal ball. No crystal ball. Think positive. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm not. It's going to be just, it's going to be just fine, particularly for the RV industry. I am convinced because so many people are going to want to get out and, uh, and it's there. All right. You guys have all been great. And I'm just going through, um, looking for any questions. What's the unity between the difference between the unity and the serenity models? Is the serenity more luxurious? Serenity is their most luxurious model, I think. I think if you go online, look at all their videos, this look at the comparisons. From, this is from Leisure Travelman, but uh, the Serenity has no slides. The Unity has a small slide out, and I think that's a big difference. And the Serenity is, is pretty high-end featured, so uh, so that's it. Uh, there. Um, so uh, anyway, um, lots of you checking in, I, and I, I love all the questions, and I wish we could get to all of them. I'm it's scrolling. We up. It is quitting time because we got... Uh, of our family Easter gathering is going to be online here. And okay, hey, Chris is, is here. Chris has a poll. Thank you, Chris. There you go. So you can vote right there under community. If you're here on YouTube, there's a little community tab and you can click that. And that poll is for what video you'd like us to do this coming Saturday. Uh, I think it's Key West, uh, the Space Coast, boondocking in Central Florida, on the Dickinson State Park. I know a lot of you don't know about the Dickinson State Park, but trust me, it is an awesome state park that you're going to want to stay at. So, uh, so check that out. But that poll, you can vote on uh, in the uh, uh, in the community tab right here on our YouTube stage, and that would be great. Uh, all right, you guys, thank you so much for checking in with us, and um, we're going to go uh, gather, turn this off, and gather ourselves around, and take the green screen down. Maybe we should leave the green screen up for our. Family. No, it's. A, Show up green, uh, but those of you who guessed correctly, as you said, as we said, that is Glacier. Uh, I'll try and find some and other. Doesn't that make you want to go there? Doesn't that make? Uh, yep. Uh, we we will have an ebook actually on Glacier, one of our seven day travel adventure guides coming out later this year. Also, uh, we'll try and put a new picture up next week, one that's not quite so iconic as that. And if anybody can guess it, we'll figure out a little prize. Maybe we'll give them one of our seven day adventure guide books or something like that for the first one who comes out oh, with that's that. a good idea yeah so that will be good uh so i hope you guys have a great time thank you for being here uh podcast coming out wednesday our, our newsletter tomorrow uh has lots of information on it be sure and check that out uh we'll have a new video on saturday and that saturday video will be um, whatever you guys decide and that uh, poll we're doing on the community tab and uh, we will be back friday with our virtual campground we will do that as well so have a great night. Call your kids. Call your grandkids. Call your parents. Call your family members. Siblings. 
friends, siblings, friends, and have a great, happy Easter. We thank you guys so much for being a part of us, and we'll see you uh, down the road this week. Stay safe. This is going to come to an end. Happy trails.